the residents of Fruit Fly Tower are in for a rude awakening, because it's feeding day. Disgusting. Look at all these maggots. <laughs> I'm feeding Heidi and Melanogaster fruit flies and dusting with RepCal calcium powder. I typically feed my frogs every other day, Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, or skip two days if I still see flies in the vivarium. Tapping the cup concentrates all the flies into the lid and makes it easier to pour them out. A few of the flies still fall out though. Mmm, yummy. Calcium powder is not only an essential supplement for the frogs, but also immobilizes the flies and makes them easier to work with. It also helps reduce mites by knocking them off. These are my mints. They are the best eaters out of all my frogs. They're huge, about two inches. Jesus, look at all these flies. One time I dropped a cup of flies and just about died. I had to vacuum all of those suckers up. Not fun. Next, we have the orange blackfoots. Flies for you. Flies for you. Everyone gets a fly. Here are the Santa Isabel dart frogs, quite possibly the easiest dart frog to keep. They live in a cardboard box if you let them. They are small frogs with a big appetite that can tackle both small and large flies. They do well in groups and like the Terrabilis, they're always out and about. Here are the regular Terrabilis orange, similar to the orange blackfoots, but a slightly duller color. I call this trio the charmed ones. They surround this tree of life and cast a protection spell around my entire frog room. Eh, well, I like to think so.
Up next is the Terrabilis Bicolors. If you weren't sure before, I'm sure you now know that Philobates Terrabilis is my favorite dart frog. This tank is a little on the drier side, but I'm planning on adding additional Miss King nozzles. Here are the Dendrobates Tinctorious Peacocks. This is one of my favorite tanks. I really like how the ficus quarsifolia blankets the side of the vivarium. The left side doesn't get as much light, but I'm sure it'll grow in eventually. There are two peacocks in here, and the male likes to hide up in the upper canopy. I see you! This last tank houses my blue-footed leucamellas. They're almost always hiding up in the background and bromeliads. A few of the frogs occasionally come down to the forest floor, but the majority of them like to enjoy their meal up in the trees. I guess we will just be looking at this swarm of flies. The regular leucamellas seem to be more bold and easier to see. There were some frogs I didn't show on camera because they were hiding. That's pretty much the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm planning on doing a dedicated video of each of the vivariums so you can get a better look. Like and subscribe for more.